Hi, I'm Rick Hakanen, an ISSA certified personal trainer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own nutrition plan that meets your goals and will help you to get to your goals. Now, for you to be able to do the following calculations, you need to know your body weight and your body fat estimate. Step number one, you need to calculate your total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. So in order to do this, you need to convert your body weight to kilograms. Now let's say we have a 200 pound male and we want to turn in the kilograms. We divide that 200 pounds by 2.2 and we find out that it's 90.9 .9 kilograms. Second step, you need to multiply your weight in kilograms by 24. And if you're a female, first multiply by 0.9 and then 24. So if you're a 91 kilo male, you would multiply that by 24 to get 2,184 kilocalories. Now, take a look at this chart here and find your body fat range and the corresponding multiplier and multiply by that number. So for example, our 91 kilo male would multiply his body fat that is from 15 to 20% by 0.95 to get the total amount of calories that is 2057 kilocalories. Now this is your basal metabolic rate or BMR. This is how many calories your body burns to maintain its vital functions at rest. Now in order to find your total daily calorie expenditure you need to multiply your BMR by your activity level multiplier. Now take a look at this chart right here and find your activity level and the corresponding multiplier. So let's assume that our male of 91 kilos is a couch potato. So in his case, we will multiply his BMR by 1.3 and his BMR was 2,075 multiplied by 1.3, we get 2,700 kilocalories. This is his total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. This means that if he will eat 2,700 calories per day, he will maintain his weight. If he will eat under 2,700 calories, he will lose weight. If he'll eat more than 2,700 calories, he will gain weight. Easy. Now remember that one pound of body fat has 3,500 kilocalories. So if you eat a 500 kilocalorie daily deficit, you will lose one pound of body weight per week. So now you can calculate how many calories you should be eating to gain weight to maintain your weight or to lose weight. Now the next step is to find out how many percentage of that daily calorie amount will be protein, how many percent will be carbs and how many percent will be fats. Now all this depends on what is your goal. Now let's say our 200 pound or 91 kilo male wants to lose weight and we will go with the 500 calorie daily deficit. So his TDE is 2700 calories. Now he wants to lose one pound of body weight per week, so we need to minus that 2,700 by 500 calories to get 2,200 kilocalories. So out of those 2,200 kilocalories, how much should be protein, how much should be carbs, how much should be fat? If he wants to build muscle, if he wants to gain size, he would have to eat at least 50% carbs. But in his case, he wants to lose weight. And now everything depends on your body type, in your uh, insulin tolerance, all those factors. But let's say a basic rate would be 45% protein, 35% carbs, about 20% fats. Now one gram of protein has four calories, as do one gram of carbs has four calories as well. Whereas fats has nine calories per gram. A good rule for protein intake is one to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. So in our 200 pound male example, he would have to be eating at least 200 grams of protein per day. Now we know that one gram of protein has four calories, so 200 grams of protein has 800 calories. Now we have to minus that 800 from the 2,000 and 200, and then we have what is left for the fats and for the carbs. So 2,200 minus 800 is 1,600 kilocalories. That's what we have left. Now the next step is that you should calculate in the same fashion the amount of fats. The amount of fats, I said 20%. So let's say the daily calorie intake is 2,200. So you would take 20% out of that 
and you divide it by 9 to get the gramic amount of fat. And the rest will be carbs. The important thing is to eat the carbs either in the morning, before training, or just after training. So that is an easy way you can calculate your own personalized meal plan. Now the hardest part of it is to calculate the exact amount of each food you should be eating to get that calorie intake per day or that gram intake of protein, carbs and fats. If that is too much for you, I can help you. Go to my website and check out my meal plans. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them at the comment box below. I will get back to you. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this.